Hey, I'm Bill, the HVAC hacker. Today's adventure puts me on a no cooling call. I get here, I talk to the customer, just won't come below 78 degrees. So I turn it on, came outside, walked past the condenser. The fan wasn't spinning, so I pulled the disconnect. Now we're gonna see why the fan's not spinning other than the fact that this is in my way. <laughs> I didn't look at that before. Where's the all the crap going into this? Back there. Put all that crap back there. Why? <laughs> Why? I hate people sometimes. I unplugged this one too because it was well. It's just noisy. I don't want to hear it. Okay, how about, how do you get in here to work? Now is somebody supposed to work on this unit? Huh. Maybe I've moved it out a little. Let's see. Can I squeeze through? Yeah, I could squeeze through. I should be able to push without damage. Okay, now I can get into this crappy little space. Oh, here we go. I don't understand people. I also don't like the installer. I would have put the doors out that way if I knew these people that own these units were assholes. We're going to put so much crap in the way. Because how do you work on that? Without squeezing in? Face the service panel out. Come on, people. Service. Service. It's all about the service. Hopefully we won't need this. Oop, drill's on the other side. Even owners, if you own your machines, why? Why bury your unit? Do you want me to fix it? Or do you want me to say, hey, I can't fix it until you rip the shed out of the way? had things in the way that I couldn't actually work on machines and I told the people, hey, I'll come back when you remove that. Oh, this might be an easy one. Look at that. The capacitor looks toasted. We may not have a bad condenser fan motor for once. Yes! I feel like it's a summer of dead co condenser fan motors. Here's a bad capacitor. So, in case you're wondering how I know just from looking at it that it's bad. This is the dead giveaway. The top of this capacitor is swollen, which means that internally it's overheated and shorted together inside. Not the whole thing though, because the compressor is still running. Now, on a test, Since it's the fan that's dead. Pull that off. We can take everything off if we want. And just remove it. This thing's doing nothing anyway. But the compressor runs, the condenser fan doesn't. I probably should show you guys the system operating, but let's not waste time. It's Saturday. And well, I'm on call, and all I want to do is be done. But as you can see, it's swollen. Now this capacitor is rated for 40 microfarads on the compressor side, five on the other side. Let me get this tight little space, and more out into the open where we can see what we're doing. See, I brought the puller and everything, thinking I had another bad motor. I didn't want to troubleshoot without you guys. But I also can't leave a compressor running with no fan on it when I walk past. So, my compressor was running, which means the one with the more terminals is the common. 
one with only one or two usually is your fan so let's check the fan point three so we have no microfarads there on our compressor side even though the compressor was running we don't have anything there either we're plugged in all the way so this capacitor is garbage okay this is an easy fix okay so let's go grab one real fast okay here we go now when you're testing a capacitor like here. Let's just make sure my meter works. We're going to compare it with a good one. So, 20. We should test around. 20. 10. 9, 9. Good. Okay, now, point 0.2. There should be nothing there because that should be the Herm. There's nothing, you can't read anything here, but this one and this one are the compressor and then this is the fan nothing that thing is garbage okay so we need 40. so what i always like to do is use the larger terminals right now we have 35 and you're gonna put your motor on the larger one this is a compressor let's go with you know the five six and then our fan will go on in here yeah hopefully this is a nice easy service call all i have to do is install this and be done. Let's get a little light back here. Here's my lamp here. Nope, it's in the truck. Oh well. It's not too dark. And I hear some wires doing whatever they're doing, hanging out, doing their thing. Okay, that has nothing to do with what I'm doing. Okay, now I ripped them all off real fast without looking. And everything looks the same in here. <laughs> so the purple and brown are my condenser fan. I'm going to guess most likely, but we're going to go schematic, that the brown goes to the fan. Let's just make sure. Outdoor fan, so our capacitor. Fan is brown, common is going to be purple and red, and the oranges are my compressor. Okay, I was just verifying because you do want to rewire everything correctly. So oranges are my compressor. So one orange, and I actually think this strap might be big enough to hold my turbo. Yeah. Look at that and a bit, little bit bigger of a screw it should fit here okay unfortunately this little machine screw though i don't think is gonna hold it let's try i have plenty of longer screws yep it worked now let's loosen let's drop the turbo down okay you always want it secured. So now the two oranges are my compressor. Give me a little bit more slack. Okay, they're connected. The reds are my common. Such a tiny little baby wire they give you here. Good thing this has never been used. There's no charge on it yet. Okay, be careful sometimes because they do hold a charge. Now as far as this wire goes, you see what they did? They loaded up here. I could put it here, 
or onto here. It doesn't matter. It's just a common. This is just a splice. That's all this spot is right here is a splice because it's connected to here. So I could have connected onto my contactor or I could have connected there. Now all my wires are connected. Okay. Hopefully this fan turns right on and starts working. We're going to find out. Here's my brown fan wire. This one's important. This one's gonna go to a five microfarad space. We have five, six, we have 25, and then right here is five, five, four. Now what I've learned in my time of doing this, you can put a higher microfarad on your compressor and it doesn't kill it. If you put a higher microfarad on your condenser fan or your blower motor, it's gonna cause it to spin faster and kill itself. Because the mistake I have seen some newer guys make is that they actually, they're doing a maintenance, they pull the wires to check the capacitor, they put it back together, they put the wrong wire on the wrong terminal, I go out there, that motor's steaming hot and dead. Before I wrap this up, we're gonna have to check the fan. Here's my fan wire off my contactor. Because we're gonna have to make sure that our fan doesn't overamp. That wasn't what caused our capacitor to short out. Okay, let's clear this stuff off the top. I actually like this call now because I thought, oh no, and look, there was another long screw if I needed it. I was actually, oh no, another dead condenser fan motor video. I think everybody's getting sick of seeing me make condenser fan motor videos. But they're my most common repair, it seems like, this summer. Last summer was compressors. Summer before seemed like to be evaporator coils. I haven't done one evap coil yet this year. Don't know why. I usually do a boatload of them. But this is for here, right? And the one that's hanging off the wall all sloppily is the one I'm working on. And there we go. And there goes our fan. Our fan is rated for... How many amps? 0.67 of an amp. We're running at 0.5 of an amp now I don't want to waste your guys time sitting here watching this for 10 15 minutes like I'm going to just to make sure that it keeps operating so thank you for joining me on this service call sometimes it's the simplest thing and we always overthink it like I said just the way the summer's been going I was getting ready for a motor pull out when I walked past seeing the fan that's been but I also don't open the electrical before I start this camera, if I'm filming. Yes, the overheated compressor looks like I might have, but unfortunately I thought I was filming when I got out to the condenser and I turned it on. Turns out I didn't film that part. What am I supposed to do at that point? I already took the top off. I already had a compressor not turning on, so I just went with the flow. And I didn't even know, to tell you the truth. I didn't even know until I downloaded all the videos that that part wasn't recorded. Until next time, I'm the HVAC Hacker. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of my AC, heating, plumbing, whatever else I run into. Sometimes automotive stuff repairs. And I'm out for now. I'll be back.